Today we are going to do an overview of the Manufacturing Requirements Planning in M1. And this is a tool that's going to be used to create a batch of jobs based on different filtering criteria options used to restrict your selection. So first of all, let's go ahead and navigate to the Manufacturing Requirements Planner by opening up Production, clicking on the Job Management, and then click on Manufacturing Requirements Planner. From here, we need a new session ID, so we'll go ahead and click on that new next ID up in the ribbon. And since I have multiple plants set up in my system, I'm going to go ahead and select just the California plant for today's example. And then for the cutoff date, I'm going to go ahead and select the last day of the month. Next, we click on the Get Data button and a confirmation message appears. We'll go ahead and say OK. And the results show up in the Job Summary area. Now, if you wish to clear this selection and start over, it's just a matter of clicking on this Clear button, Data, and it'll go ahead and remove the selection or remove the results and allow you to start over again. Next, if you're happy with this a summary here of jobs that will be created. Click on the Create Jobs button, and this will create the jobs from the current MRP session, and it's going to go ahead and say, OK, yes, let's do that. And now it has generated all of our jobs that were selected from that job summary. Once your jobs have been created, you'll see a completed date next to the Create Jobs button and at any time you can go up to the manufactured requirements planner sessions and click on the binoculars here and see all of the different sessions that have been created you'll see if they are still open and whether or not they, ha they have been generated or completed note that you may run into some errors if you already have a session open and have not completed that session you can use the open sessions by double clicking and removing any filtering criteria that might be in there and using that open session to create your next group of jobs.